Good morning, gladiators. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is Thursday. Let's see. October 15th? I believe that's what it says. All right, here we go. We are going to sign in to first grading period, August 24th through October 16th. We are clicking on the pretty pink folder. And it is Thursday, October 15th. I had that right. Okay, so we're actually going to continue our instruction on cultural diffusion. All right, so for today, you're going to watch the video on cultural diffusion. And then we're going to go over something. So we're really going to talk about why cultural diffusion is so important. Why is it that things that happen in a certain country, how is it that it gets here so quickly what is happening right it used to be where you used to have pony express people get on a horse they deliver something to one place one location to another or if it was coming overseas they would come on a on a ship things have changed drastically right we've had a big drastic change in the way cultural diffusion has occurred through the years especially now i mean you guys are using youtube instagram uh, Facebook, uh, TikTok, all these social media applications, they are not just here in the United States. They are also in other parts of the world. I would be, uh, I would, I would hope that maybe you could look up people by country and see who comes up just out of curiosity. But cultural diffusion is the spread of ideas through technology, right? Through skills movies music language food everything is all part of cultural diffusion if we look at these slides here i'm not going to go through them but i'll uh, i'm not going to open them but look at them you have tacos you have a asian group you have harry potter mario's brothers you have um i'm thinking that's disneyland yeah disney world so we're going to go through those today and kind of think about why these things are happening how do they occur how do they spread so quickly okay in the spreading of a culture's beliefs and practices and items around the world right culture spreads through war through travel through technology through trade we're going to go through that today try to figure out how is it that these things wrap get to one location and people pick them up so quickly again like TikTok, right why is TikTok so popular Maybe it's dying out a little bit, but last year it was huge. And the year before it was huge. Everybody was using TikTok while the young kids were, right? Then COVID happened. Suddenly the older kids, the older people are using them now. What might be positive and negative effects of cultural diffusion on the world? Maybe things are going too fast. Wars, right? Wars may be a negative effect. So we're going to go through these. So positive effects is a cross-cultural understanding. The negative effect is the loss of unique cultures. People, it, we've, we talked a little bit about refugees, right? How people are moving or leaving their countries from push factors, right? And these cultures are moving, they're leaving their country, but they are also coming to other countries. That would be cross-cultural, right? But then you have those countries that are losing that culture cooperation between nations so the spread of harmful ideas uh items and ideas yeah we have we're able to cooperate and work with each other from nation to nation but are those things that are coming to our country are they positive is it something that is benefiting the americans or what we're sending to other countries is it benefiting them right and it could also be maybe even COVID. Right, COVID would be something negative. Now, this is all over the world. The spread of uh, new ideas and products increase global competition. So this could happen where we are we come up with a new thing. Think of TikTok. That's an Asian product, China. It's to the it's in the United States now, right? But how can we compete with that? Or if we compete with that, what happens to that price now? Now that the demand is really high. McDonald's, McDonald's, we'll know that we all learned yesterday that McDonald's is worldwide. It's everywhere. 
Now the golden arches are the same, but the menus are not. They may have the McDonald's fries in some countries, but yesterday we learned about the McPuff, right? The McVeggie. So there, there's no Big Mac. We have different types of menus in different parts of the countries, but they have a McDonald's. So we're gonna analyze these photos today to try to figure out what is so different about Ronald here. Why does Ronald look so different in various parts of the world? Okay. All right, that is what we're doing today. So maybe you could watch this video. It's gonna be a fun lesson. As I mentioned yesterday, cultural diffusion is my favorite part of social studies. Then when you get done, you will then click on the assignment. You go to Thursday and you're going to take this assessment on cultural diffusion. Okay. I will open it. And you have some questions. They are multiple choice. And I believe there's a few true or false. Okay. Easy peasy assignment. All right, my angels. I can't wait to see you in a little bit. See you later, gladiators.